All right, welcome, welcome back, everyone. This is where we're at so far. We've got our tray of tiny pieces, a bunch of plants and stands and uh, boxes and newspaper rolls and a briefcase. But I say the, those, I think, turned out pretty good. Seemed fairly random, as far as even they're all sort of leaning the same way, but they're sort of at the same time they're sort of lots of different colors and shapes and sizes and everything in there. Uh, see and my my handle has I haven't knocked off the briefcase yet the, <laughs> still got its handle uh, plants look okay I think and pretty good uh, you know no big drama on anything so I'm gonna set that aside I intend to have a slightly shorter video today whether fate agrees with me or not who knows oh but uh I just jump right in, and we're supposed to be making like a hanging newspaper rack. And oops, where am I at? Yeah, okay, over here. So this is this is what I think is going to be the tricky part today. It's a uh, got our newspapers. Let's say it's going to be hanging, folded in half, and hanging over the edges. And this guy is our rack. And we're supposed to make this the. You probably can't even see these because they're. <laughs> I'm gonna, these are all. Get a piece of paper in here to really mess with my camera lens. <laughs> Got a couple of pieces of wire I'm gonna be using to. It's supposed to be what you hang the newspapers on. And to mount those, we're supposed to strip the insulation off and then feed it through the holes in this part. So, that'll be fun. And I think... Yeah, I think these are actually the same. These are symmetrical. So, so the back and front don't matter, but... Let's see. I'm trying to see. Okay. Get my glue and plate. Because it, okay. do, it does appear... So these are, by the way. These are supposed to go on the outer edges of this guy and I want it to be perpendicular so let's bring out my old jig again set you up there this one's not got a square corner so that's going to be make it a little more difficult but I think if I hold it down from the top and push it in from this if I can if I can do that sort of thing I can get it sort of square on there, yeah, which I think will be close enough for us. <laughs> Maybe make sure you're poked all the way in at the bottom. <laughs> and see, it's sort of. I wish this was a right triangle because that would make this much easier on me. Because this, it's, it's got that wobble there, so it's not. And somehow it's saying, mount these wires in first, and then glue all that mess onto the, the baseboard, which I just don't think will happen. If I had to guess, right now what I think is probably going to happen is I'm going to end up stripping this wire and feeding it all the way through straight across and then bonding it into the, <laughs> on the end. But I'll give it a shot with their method first. But I am going to go from, I'm going to glue first, then try and put the wires on. <laughs> okay, but that calls for old Gorilla Super Glue. So, I'll see if I can get you... Okay, that's my flat-ish side, yeah. So, if you'll stay... You're not going to stand up. <laughs> get you... Maybe I can do it like that. Get that. Just not a good angle to get this thing. No, no good. I wonder if I can freehand it. <laughs> how, bad is it how bad or good is going to look? Ooh, I just had an idea. Maybe put me a piece of wood on there. Appropriate depth. 
I can hold that in. Yeah. I think that'll... Well, I'm obviously crooked there now, so it's... <laughs> okay, so I'll get it. Appropriate depth. It's still crooked. <laughs> it may, be, may just be crooked. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so... Okay. So... Put that down there to be my guide. Put you on there. Okay, hang on. I'm, I'm brainstorming it as I go here. So, you standing up. So it's... Yeah, I'm too clumsy to do all this. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, that's... I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> Whatever I'm thinking in my head didn't seem to be agreeing with reality. So I'm just going to freehand it and see what goes, what happens on this first part. And then we'll proceed from there. Very nice. Even good coat on this side here. Okay. And... Good eight, ten seconds here. Mm -hmm. From this angle, it looks even. <laughs> okay. A little bit hanging off this side. It wasn't perfectly centered, but I think that feels smooth. So that's good. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can do it one more time. Get you handy and ready. I had to guess, I say I'm about to break that side off that I just put on. But we'll find out together if I can get the pressure off. Pressure work its way in there. Maybe three or four more seconds here. Okay. Does not look square, but I think. <laughs> I thought I cut those extra long. <laughs> but I think it'll work still. But it's. If it does, it'll definitely be a Bondic day. I can reach the Bondic from here. Let's see. I could. Yay. Okay. Now, I'm going to find my. Okay, let's see if I can. Just evidently my knife's magnetized now. <laughs> okay. That's what the picture sort of looks like. And then you're supposed to go in here. It looks like it. Okay. That might reach, and I might be able to sort of fudge it in a little bit with the Bondic. I'm lucky. Okay. This end. Around. Okay. In there, that in there. Mm 
maybe if I get a couple of drops of bondic on there maybe it'll work I'm not I'm 45% hopeful that this will fly <laughs> okay bondic out see if we can get it to play nice okay so first one just around there hit it Good. Make sure it's good and cured. And a little pressure to square it up and glob on the other end, maybe. I'm not sure if this is going to do enough bonding to live up to its name. <laughs> but we will find out together and proceed from there. Okay, it appears to be staying together. <laughs> so, next question, will it even stand up? Okay, even stands up. Cool. <laughs> Success. Almost. <laughs> now the trick's going to be getting this one in that next slot now. But the and Looks like the picture showed that as a separate. <laughs> it looks like the the hole is integrated into the dash at the bottom. So I'm not sure. Where's my okay, handy dandy then? It's wire, so I should be able to bend it as I need to straighten it out later. snug. I do not think I'm going to need bondic. See it popped out over here. I wonder if it's... Bend that over. Grab my... Maybe I won't stick myself with that little piece of metal up a thousand times today. <laughs> Turn you up. Yeah. Okay, it's Okay, it's spinning pretty free in there. I'm gonna, I am going to throw a little bondic on the inside just to maybe reinforce it. It feels pretty sprung, but that's <laughs> that's not a reliable. <laughs> okay, let's see here. In there. A little extra reinforcement won't hurt. And then mm -hmm. All right. I think that's going to be. Good enough. I'm not sure if I'm going to need the bondic again, so I'll leave it sitting over there. I don't have any more wires, so I sort of doubt it. Okay, still does stand up. 
according to this. Do I have four? Yeah, I've got four newspapers here. Okay. It's funny. The old timey looking ones have like a real Okay, maybe it is. I noticed on those other ones I did the other day that it went to that lorem ipsum Latin fake stuff. <laughs> to, you know, well, not, not fake, but just the random Latin words that people, they'll throw in on websites and stuff to yeah, space fillers. Okay, so basically it looks like we're just folding these guys in half. I think I want the... Hang them on a little stand as appropriate. I guess they show it with just the pictures showing, not the actual newspaper print. Something like that and that. Hmm. Theirs appears much wider than mine based on their pictures because I'm getting. <laughs> Being, yeah, not much of this one's going to be showing. Let me get it. <laughs> I don't know why they bothered with two newspapers if that's all it's going to show. I definitely picked the right pieces off of there. Make sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it just happened to be sitting right there on top. So, yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do, though, to give it a little more... I think I'm going to trim this side byline off. And then do it here. I should have. And then take a little bit off of this one too. So they're going to be underneath each other. Okay. Yeah, I should have left the byline on the other one. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. Like that. Looks more like, like more complete newspapers that way. Okay. So this one's gonna go. Actually, I'll put this one on the bottom since I've got didn't. Yeah, the byline. All right. And for this, I'm gonna go with the old Gorilla Super Glue again. And I'm just gonna put it on here on the bottom and push it as far over as I can. <laughs> And hope it locks in place for me. I think. See what happens with the glue on the wire. Get it on there and wrapped around it. Push over. Okay. And then hold it in place for a second. Paper won't take long. All right. That worked. Thought this was going to be a quick day, but because it took me, taking me 20 minutes to get to this point. <laughs> and you go that way. Too quick. Okay, it was still pliable. <laughs> All right, get that on the bottom, and I don't think I want to trim up the old timey newspapers because they don't have bylines. <laughs> I just fold in half. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and stick them on and let them fall where they may. Mm 
Stagecoach showing. I built one of those not too long ago. Right. And there's our hanging newspaper rack. Slightly sticky. <laughs> okay. And that, like I say, to me it appears. In the instructions, they have a wider piece of wood because they say they show the, there's much more than newspapers are showing. And the proportions seem off, but like I say I double checked that is the correct piece of wood there. So it's just they either changed their minds after the fact or make printed the papers bigger. <laughs> but anyway, that's that part. So I'm gonna grab the pieces for the next one, and we'll be right back with that. Okay, we're making us a storage bucket, I think is what they're calling it. So we get to roll some more newspapers, and this is the only piece of fabric I'm going to cut tonight. Just because it was so tiny, I didn't think it would be that bad. Um, I've, got the, I've got the equipment ordered to try and do the cutting, something that you had a comment to recommend. A type of cutter that will work real good, and like I mentioned, the previous cutter had... The previous commenter had mentioned some tape. Had somebody mentioned safety pins, but I'm... Or not safety pins, but just pins. I'm, I don't think I'm that coordinated. They had home ec when I was in school, but I didn't... I took the cooking class, not the sewing class. <laughs> and I, I poked myself just with regular tools, not... I can't imagine how bad I'd be with, like, needles. Okay, but without any further ado, we're supposed to roll this one up. Sort of like we did the box yesterday. I'm just going to put a little curve in it with my... And basically, it says bring it around. And... Make it... Just like the box yesterday, and you can, as you can see, I left a little extra tab on this one. I learned from my mistake. <laughs> Just bring it around like that to make us a bucket. All right, so that's job for the old Gorilla Super Glue. To it, so <laughs> I jump top and bottom, get my tweezers in there to do my squeeze on it. Let's see, yep, there it goes. All right, be around, go from the top as well. Make sure I get squeeze on both sides. out of frame. Yeah. All right. Got a bucket. <laughs> okay, and if both of these papers are supposed to fit in there, that's obviously we need it in a really tight thing, so sticking with the toothpick method on the, these two. Get the curl started and we'll because I make these as tight as I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Oop. Seems pretty snug. And it stays snug <laughs> without the glue, but I still want to. See how long it. <laughs> that seems to actually. Like I say that. That seems pretty tight in there, but like I say I'm still gonna drop a bit of glue in there to make sure. drop of fabric showing it draped over the edge of the can I'm assuming we're supposed to be covering up the seam with that so I may have made this I may need to trim this down a little bit more now that I'm looking at it because I don't think I think that's a little too generous <laughs> so just sort of like it. grip it okay yeah that seems more reasonably sized. It's still maybe a little thick, but let's see. This is, I don't know if it's showing up, but this end is fraying a little bit. So I'm going to throw some super glue on that and try and do this all at once. Just pop it in there and have the seam going down. So gravity will hopefully be a help to me. <laughs> Get in there. This is my plan, show y'all. And then swap my... And so I, so I can clamp it down. I think... That seemed like it was pretty good. And then this will... We'll tape it down the other side too. Okay, or not tape it down, glue it down the other side. Okay, so... That's my plan. Let's see how my plan works. <laughs> okay, so here, let's position that where it's down so I can grab it with a quickness. <laughs> it just moved on me a little bit, so I'll have to pay attention. <laughs> okay. This might be a little on the ambitious side for my... Okay. That. You up, don't knock over the glue. In there. Clamp down a couple of times. Alright, I believe she's gonna stay. And then see, this is supposed to fold down. I need more tweezers. <laughs> It's supposed to fold down over like so, I believe. Okay, so if I manage to do this without gluing myself to this thing, it's going to be a miracle. Okay, that 
Move you over and just tap you in and then hit you with the leaders. Okay, so there was a miracle <laughs> so far. looks pretty close to how it looks in the book. <laughs> I could have gone a little bit further up, but I think that's going to be all right. Now, this thing, hmm, okay, I think I got a plan. Just going to hold that with my tweezers, try and hit the glue on there, and pop you in like that. And then I'll do the other side with the other one. I think that seems like it'll be a good... <laughs> we'll find out together. <laughs> Just like always. Okay. So. Less is more on the glue. And let me try and... Okay. Make sure I'm going in from the bottom. Okay. One down. I didn't. I don't think I went quite deep enough. So I'll do some sanding on that or something. <laughs> Mild trim work. One to go. Okay. Oh. Moved it on that one, but okay. That's it. Oh. I did feed this one up a little bit further to make sure I didn't get get stuck out the bottom on it too. Okay. Let's see, I've got glue all over that, so I'm gonna let that dry, but there. I can mm -hmm. there's our storage can. I don't know if it's gonna show on camera or not, but it's I've got to gotta do a little bit of I just wonder if I can get in there with this. Shave it off a little bit. I think it did. Yep, that did the trick. <laughs> All right, there's our. I keep storage bucket. I keep saying. I keep wanting to say can. <laughs> that, that looks pretty similar. Like say, sort of like the newspaper rack. It's pretty similar to what they had. <laughs> so that's that. Moving on to some advertising plates. So I'll grab those and be right back with that. Turn you off before I do that. <laughs> okay. In more famous last words, these should be easier than as you know, fairly straightforward build. Just putting the legs on the back of the sign and mounting our picture on the front. And then we got a little outline where the picture goes scored in. So it's I say this this could only be difficult if I if, if I mess it up. <laughs> And that just goes on that one. I'm I'm feeling the Gorilla Glue tonight. Just you know, a couple of dabs on there and gonna go for it. Better than it had any reason. To, I had any reason to think it would. <laughs> well, within my acceptable tolerances, I'd say. All right, let's go for it again. And I definitely recommend putting the the pictures on before you try and put the 
legs on because it's going to be a whole lot easier if you can put these on flat. <laughs> Let's see here, this way. Yep. Mm, this one's not as easy. Mm, I don't think I cut that one as good either. <laughs> I still within, you know, like I say, within my tolerance. <laughs> and I'll get the uh, glue and plate out for the leg part. Oh. Oh. Let's see. And it's just. <laughs> it just has it and attach. Attach on the back. It doesn't say. It's just gonna. You know, if you if you mess it up and get it wrong, it'll be just a little bit leaning further back or standing straighter up. So that's not a huge issue, I don't think. Let me find. <laughs> what am I gonna use? Oh, my toothpick will be good. Just so I got it. Put the toothpick on the middle. Using a round object for this, this can be absolutely ideal. <laughs> Something about like, okay, let me not use a toothpick. Like I said, <laughs> find something small and squarish. Ah. Maybe, no, that won't work. Maybe a penny would do it, but no, okay. Something that won't roll away. <laughs> <laughs> What have I got around here? There's so much stuff that I could use, it won't quite work. I've got this little peg right over here. Let me. Okay, I'll do it. Oop. I think that's quite enough, okay. <laughs> Actually, I think I might have been onto something with that little penny. Oh, but I can't see the feet if I do that. That's the problem. I just want to try and find something to make it uniform. That's my goal here. And I'll say all the stuff I've got laying around, all the broken pieces and things that I've used, and I don't think any of them are going to be ideal for this. <laughs> okay, I'll just... Let's see, is this one... This is not... That might be good at the bottom, actually. Just to put it down there. Just so I got a nice... Okay. Starting to get an idea now. <laughs> In there. And I think. So I can. Okay, the toothpick might work with this one. <laughs> Back to where we started. Put that in there. Got something to wedge it against. Maybe. Whether I can get it in there where the glue sets will be the trick. It's got a good... I think that'll give me a good angle on my legs and make them even. <laughs> I'm pushing up against that on both of them, so alright. Yep, that's what I'm going to try then. I think... Stick with the old Gorilla Super Glue. I think I'm going to go for about right here. Here. I don't know if they'll have enough surface area there for not this corner. I may have to do some sanding before I do this. 
Get it up. Get home. Pick it up. Okay. And am I gluing myself to it? It's the next question. I can't tell. <laughs> If it comes up without my finger and everything, we'll know. I'll give it another five seconds here. Now I glued myself to the phone, but... Okay. Next question, did I glue it? No, it's not glued. It's, it's wobbly. Okay. So, I'm going to sand me a bevel off that corner. Which is something I should have known I was going to have to do anyway. surface area to make it stick better now and bring us back in here and give that another go <laughs> yeah because you, you you look you can sort of see there's almost no surface area there there's that little bitty line <laughs> okay this is gonna be I think that's going to give me a wider grip. Yeah, okay. Feel good about that. Now let me get it get marked just long enough to see where to put my glue. Which is about the same place, just a little lower. Get the fresh glue in there. Put my pin back. moving everywhere. <laughs> I don't know how they just have. Just stick this on there. <laughs> okay. One of those things I know if I try and do it freehand I'm gonna end up with it. Okay. Yeah, there's no I know what happened. I, I remember this. I remember how I fixed this before. Yeah. I've done one of these and it's had the same issue. Just got two. More. So my scrap cardboard. Cut me out. Just a square of it. you on there yeah okay um like I said, it's coming back to me now i'm gonna flip it over the side i didn't bevel <laughs> once again just in the name of surface area This way, 
you're going on here. And I say I'll have to do. Yeah, that's gonna be. I'll have to throw some glue in the middle to to seal it up eventually, but this will get us together. <laughs> I think I had to do that, this on the Santa Workshop one. <laughs> mm -hmm. some glue in that seam through here and pick my how wide I want it and let the glue just sort of hold it in place or I may just let it ride because <laughs> that seems pretty okay to me <laughs> and once we glue it down on the sidewalk where we end up we I can do all four feet and that'll hold it in place yeah yeah I'm not gonna worry yeah that's what that's the plan all right I am pleased that we will and that is a whole lot easier than trying to glue that little tiny corner onto the back of that flat surface <laughs> okay get you over there with my other now this one I'll actually mark how wide I want it to be <laughs> Got a little bit less tolerance on this one I think is but it is all just exact uh yeah oh i'll trim this with the excess with the exact i think i will <laughs> i'll try and trim the excess with the eh, let's see how much how close is it on this yeah let's i'll i'll take another sliver off the end here okay how are you looking now okay that's Just not that much more again. Just, just enough to know I took something off of it. And that's about all I want to take. Make sure it. Yeah, and that's not too obvious on the. Okay. Yep. All right. And you're still good on this. Getting old. Yep. Yep. Full coverage there. Okay. Now we repeat the procedure on this one. I think this one. Took a bit longer than I was expecting as well. <laughs> Seeing a pattern forming here now. Make sure you get good coverage all the way over and back. Mm -hmm. Not sure. second or two line it up okay and glue myself to it <laughs> okay and you're up and like, this is like with the other one it can, 
need to lean it back a little further or stand it up we'll be able to just glue the feet in place as necessary to stop that wobble <laughs> but that'll get us installed all right I think I'm gonna go for one more piece it doesn't look like as always it doesn't look that bad so maybe this one next one will be the one that's easy on us tonight so I'll be right back with that okay we're building the where they're calling it the yellow sofa <laughs> which is in the the rabbit they show in the picture is like pink instead of white but this is the rabbit um, basically we're doing this through there and this forms the sides of our it, it's more of a, a chair than a sofa but, <laughs> but my plan as I'm looking at it it's this one this one's supposed to float up a little bit so what I'm looking for this one too wide. Ooh, that's so close, but not eh, that might work. <laughs> Gonna use that as my base. These guys go. Oh no, they must good. Oh, which I can do. do two. I can do something else. I got a better idea. <laughs> Well, I don't know if it's a better idea or not, but I've got a, another thought. <laughs> Get my jig out. It looks like that's a little thick boy. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm okay. So. Okay, so we'll do this going. Yeah, let's go. Oh, sorry, long ways, and this one goes. There is a little offset there, and it's supposed to be flush with the back. So, how much would this? How big a gap is this? Let's see. I don't think. This to come over. Yeah, I think that's actually going to be about the perfect size as far as the thickness goes. So I think I can use that. Go that in there. That on top of it. And I'll put the glue on the end and jab you down there. And then once that's done, I'll put the back on. Be. And then I'll have to figure something else out for this side because that's going to be in the way. But I'll get, yeah, I think this is, I think that'll work. Okay. <laughs> I'll pop nice ass. Yeah, so I got so much glue and trash on there. I, I've got to clean that thing off at some point. <laughs> that's my back. This is my center. Okay, and of course, still going with the old Gorilla Super Glue. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wipe it, make sure I don't overdo it like I did that last one. Got a nice clean, <laughs> nice clean coat on there. Hopefully. Seconds. Okay. Okay. It's not attached, so that's good. <laughs> Take our back. We'll go in that way. Okay. So I'm hit this one. They're either side better. Nah, they're all 
pretty well discolored, so I'll just do oop, along one side and up. <laughs> just there and there. With my, my little super glue. Oh. fairly hopeful at this point. <laughs> Ready to be crushed, but okay, I did glue to the back of that one, but that's still, okay, it moved out. Okay, that's a little closer, but not quite. And that's, okay, that looks pretty nice on that part. Let's see. I'm going to go downstairs, get out my rotary tool, cut that guy in half. So I've got the right height on this side, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I've trimmed it down, and it's just barely enough. <laughs> so, let's stick that in there. No, yeah, that in there. I have to go from this side. So let me put this on the here to sort of hold you up. Okay. And you're going in. No. I got that backwards. I'm still going back. Got it backwards. Huh? I'm going to go in like this. Okay. <laughs> so you're going in like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You there, and you there. Now, apply the glue on these ends, and whoop, right in there is the plan. <laughs> and I wish I trimmed it just a little bit thinner on that red piece, but. I think it's going to be good enough. Nice even thin coat. And then put you up in there. I think I'm making contact. <laughs> Give her another five seconds, three, four seconds, something like that. pop out. Good. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put a little extra pressure just to make sure <laughs> good and solid. Looks fairly square. Surprising. <laughs> or something I've made on these things. Eh, no, it's not. A little high on one side. <laughs> But I think once you get it in, in position, it won't be that bad. Now we just got a little bunny rabbit to go. I'll actually not use the Super Gorilla Super Glue. I'll go to Aileen's Turbo Tacky for this. And just put me a little drop right there in the back corner. And drop our bunny rabbit in. Like this. Glue. Pop you in. And that glue will dry clear so that'll won't be quite as blobby. <laughs> but that's that's where I'm gonna call it today. That should be a right at the hour mark, give or take. Ugh. So we got our yellow sofa. <laughs> a couple of signs that I'm I'm saying this one is gradually working its way out, but <laughs> I say we're going, we're going to glue the feet in place when the time comes. Got our newspaper rack, which hmm, I, say, I still th I think they printed the newspapers in the wrong scale, but it's standing up, so that's what I'm not going to complain about. And our storage 
bucket. Was it bucket or can? I can't. I, I can't know why I can't keep that straight. Storage bucket. <laughs> Let's see. First foray on this project into slight material use. <laughs> Not much, but a little bit. And of course, we'll add that to the tray of tiny pieces. And have a really cluttered up thumbnail <laughs> after, for today. Because this is, I, it looks like it's just going to keep getting worse. So I may have to start thinning out some of the older pieces for the thumbnail just so you can tell what the new stuff is and they don't look the exact same every time but we'll worry about that well i'll worry about that here in a few minutes y'all y'all have seen the results already but anyways folks that's what i'm gonna call it today thanks for watching like subscribe comment complain share do whatever you want to with all that be good to one another stay safe and i'll see you next time bye